Welcome to this brief overview of IBM Rational Doors attributes. In this presentation, we will explore how attributes are used within Rational Doors to capture relevant information and assist in better understanding the requirements project. We will learn how to view and edit the value of attributes, as well as how to create new attributes and attributes types. The focus will be object attributes, but module attributes will be considered as well. An attribute is defined as a changeable property or characteristic. Using this definition, the Rational Doors database, project, folder, module, object, and link all have attributes. A project has a defined set of attributes and can be accessed from its properties. The values of these attributes can be changed. For example, let's change the name from test project to sandbox. Depending on the access rights, one can change the value of certain attributes or create new ones. It is a best practice to limit the number of attributes since having too many can get overwhelming and confusing. Module attributes are also accessed from the module properties, which can be accessed from the database explorer or within the module. Notice that some attributes are locked and can only be updated by the system. These are indicated by the glasses symbol. Notice that other attributes are editable like the prefix attribute. Double clicking on an editable attribute will open it and will allow you to edit its value. Module level attributes are accessible within the module and can be represented in views. Since they are module level, their values are set at the module level and all objects within the module share the same value. For example, the prefix will always be amr-sr- for all objects in the module unless it is changed at the module level. In this module view, we see the ID column which is a combination of the module prefix and the object's absolute number. Notice how the prefix is the same for all objects, but the absolute number is unique. The absolute number is an object-level attribute whose value is provided by the system. Once an object is assigned an absolute number, no other object can reuse it, even if the object is deleted. This is important because referencing object 111 will always reference that object. This helps keep information consistent. The object attributes are also accessed from the properties. In the General tab, we see some of the object's attributes. In the Attributes tab, we see the attributes available at the object level. Each object in this module has the same list of object level attributes, but each object may have unique values for each of these attributes. Notice the absolute number. The glasses symbol indicates this attribute is managed by the system. Once again, some attributes are editable, and we can double-click on them to change their values. Comment is a text attribute. Attributes can be of different types. Clarity is of type high, medium, low, which is a user-defined attribute, in this case a list of values that we can pick from. Notice that it is possible to use this window to change the value of either the current object, all selected objects, or all the objects in the view. This makes for fast editing of attributes. Depending on how the attribute was set up, we may have the option to inherit the value from the parent object. Attributes can be displayed in views. We will insert the comments and clarity attributes in our view. Let's adjust the view so we can see the attribute columns we added. Attributes can be edited from the view by double-clicking on the cell. Notice our drop-down list. There are many shortcuts when editing. Refer to the help files for those, but here is an example. Enter will allow you to edit the same attribute, but for a different object. Control-A 
will allow you to edit the next column in a view. Rational Doors comes with a number of attributes, but additional ones can be created as well. Attributes can be created at the object level or at the module level. Remember that an attribute requires a type. There are some default types that exist in Rational Doors, but additional ones can be created as well. We will create an object level attribute that will allow us to assign ownership of the requirements to a list of teams. For this, we will require to first create the type team. Notice the base types available. Here, an integer value can be limited to have values between a user-defined minimum and maximum. Any other value will be invalid. We will create an enumeration. Let's define values for the enumeration. We have Team Tiger, represented by blue. Lion, represented by yellow. Puma represented by can. Notice that we can reorder the list and we can delete values that are invalid. Now that we have our type team, we can create the attribute ownership. Once again, we click on the new button, give it a name, description, a type, Selecting multi-valued will allow the attribute to have multiple values, in essence, allowing multiple teams to be assigned ownership. Our attribute is an enumeration as defined by type team. It is possible for an attribute value to be calculated by a DXL program. A default value for the attribute can be assigned. The scope can be changed. Ours is object level. We can inherit the value from the parent, and we have some options of whether or not modifications to this attribute will affect the history change bars and change dates for the object. Simultaneously, we can add the attribute to the view, and we also have some options for access rights. Notice the newly created attribute now appears in the list of available attributes. There's also a column with the attribute in our view. Let's find it and move it next to the column clarity. Let's assign some ownerships. Section 2.1 is assigned to Team Lion, all but the image which we will assign to Puma. Section 2.2 .2 is assigned to Team Tiger all of it. Some values were filled in automatically due to the inheritance was specified. The ownership column or any other column in the view can be color coded based on its value. Remember the colors we specified earlier? These can affect either the text or the background of any column. Attributes are used to filter as well. For example, we can create a filter and show only the items that Team Puma is responsible for. Ownership, Puma, OK. This concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.